Hi everyone, a very good morning to all of you. I am Gulapsa, your mentor for Finance Current Affairs and I welcome you once again to another session of RBI 247 whereby on a regular basis we discuss and talk about the current financial happenings around us. And I also hope that you all have started your preparation for RBI 2023. With that spirit, let's get started with today's session but before that, if you have still not downloaded the app, you can do so by going on to the Google Play Store. Rest information, I hope you know about this. So what are we going to talk about in today's session? So today's session will consist of three basic but important news article. The first news article talks about Shriram Life Insurance that has recently got the approval of PFRDA to be empaneled as a annuity service provider. So, we will try to know about this. Secondly, the second news talks about the partnership between Navi and Piramal Finance that have entered into certain kinds of ties so that they can provide digital personal loan to the customers. And finally, we will talk about the fifth meeting of NIIF's Governing Council which was chaired by our Union Finance Minister. So let's get started with the very first news and this news talks about Sri Ram Life Insurance Company. So it's clear that it's an insurance company. Hai. It is a kind of uh, insurance company that has recently got the approval of PFRDA. Now you have to understand two things here. The first is that this is an insurance company hai, and this insurance company will now act as an annuity provider. So, when will provide karega? to the subscribers of NPS under the PFRDA? Simple. I will explain karti hu. Let's get started. Here it says that PFRDA, people subscribe to NPS, National Pension System, ke andar log hote hai, right? Now, after the expiry or after the retirement of the person, the person gets certain money. If 100 person, hai, maximum 60 person is given. As a lump sum money, the remaining 40%, which 40% hai, that is given in the form of a pension. Monthly pension diya jata hai and that monthly pension, pension is of equal amount. If suppose 25,000 is given as pension, then it will be 25,000 per month across the time period for which you live, right? So that equal amount that is given, that equal amount is known as annuity. Now, what has happened since NPS is regulated by PFRDA, right? But NVT ka jo bhi management hoga, the funds to be managed, plus jo bhi hume paise aage subscribers ko dena hai in the form of pension. So, do, do things hai, two things. First, managing the funds of the money that the subscribers are giving. Secondly, making the payment of the pension. Both of these functions are done by the annuity service provider. And this is the main work of an ASP. And this ASP is an IRDI registered insurance company. So ASP kya hote hai? ASP, annuity service providers are nothing but an insurance company. And insurance company ko kon regulate karta hai? IRDAI. So ye chiz aapko clear rakhna hai that ASPs are IRDAI registered insurance companies but they get empaneled over the PFRDA. So, PFRDA inko empaneled karta hai. Like wo uska naam lik deta hai, right? So this PFRDA will empanel them as an ASP who will be regulating or managing the funds of the subscribers as well as making payment to the subscribers in the form of pension. And recently, Sri Ram Life Insurance Company has been empaneled as an annuity service provider by PFRDA. Is ka matlab hua aur bhi, kam, aur bhi insurance companies honge, jo ASP honge? Yes, we have SBI, we have Kotak Mahindra. All of these are registered as an ASP and recently, Sri Ram Life Insurance Company has made its name to the list of ASP. Now, what is the benefit? What will be the benefit? Simple benefit hai, this will help this Sriram Life Insurance Company to manage the annuity component of the maturity proceeds of NPS. Apart from that, customer's point of view se agar dekhe, subscriber's point of view se dekhe, subscribers will now get more companies so that, so that their money is managed much better. 
सो ये लिखा हुआ है आपके यहाँ पे विच से इज दैट दी एफ आर डी एस सर्टिफिकेशन will help SLIC to attract more NPS subscribers because of its annuity plan. Here, this Shri Ram Life Insurance provides a kind of flexible, in, flexible plan, annuity plan, जहाँ पे the way that you were living your life before retirement, you will now be able to live the same life after the retirement with the help of the immediate annuity plus plan, which is introduced by Shri Ram Life Insurance Company. बहुत ही सिंपल है ज्यादा डिटेल में नहीं जाना है यू जस्ट नीड टू नो दैट यस वन मोर इंश्योरेंस कंपनी हैज बीन एम्पेनल्ड बाय पीएफआरडीए टू एक्ट एज एन एनिटी सर्विस प्रोवाइडर अब यहां पे लिखा हुआ है दैट दिस एम्पेनलमेंट विल आल्सो हेल्प इन मोबिलाइजिंग द 40% ऑफ द एनपीएस मैच्योरिटी अमाउंट व्हिच आई हैव एक्सप्लेनड यू और ऑलरेडी 100% है 60% आप लमसप निकाल सकते हो रिमेनिंग मैक्सिमम जो 40% है नाउ श्री राम हैज बीन एडेड टू द लिस्ट ऑफ एनिटी सर्विस प्रोवाइडर एंड नाउ दिस पर्सन विल बी मोबिलाइजिंग द मनी विल बी मैनेजिंग द मनी सो दैट इंटरेस्ट कुड बी अर्न ऑन दैट मनी एंड कस्टमर्स के लिए एज वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इट इज गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड एन एरे ऑफ इंश्योरेंस प्रोवाइडर्स हु विल कम अप विथ रिवॉर्डिंग सिचुएशन फॉर द कस्टमर्स according to their needs and lifestyles now this data gives information about the amount of annuity premium that is mobilized in a year in india and that is around 25000 crores per year so ye data itna important hai it's just for your information ki itna zyada annuity pension payments kiye jate hain in india simple moving forward to the next news as i have mentioned the next news talks about the partnership between navi and piramal finance now both of these financial institution or uh, fintech companies that provides financial services financial products and services provide karte hain they have come together in order to provide digital personal loan to the customers inki usp kya hai now whatever loans they are providing all will be provided through an app aapko bank nahi jana kisi kisam ke nbfc ko visit nahi karna you can just use the app in order to get the loan and the loan will be provided over the navi app to jo navi app hai usi pe aapko milegi plus what is what more benefit you will be getting aapko yahan pe paperwork jo hai so you will be required less paperwork plus you will be provided flexible way of making the repayment of the loan to kafi zyada rewarding aur kafi zyada easy ho jayega if any person wants to get this personal loan ठीक है नाउ हेयर दे हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द बेनिफिट्स व्हिच सेज दैट दिस पार्टनरशिप विल एक्सपेंड एक्सपैंड नाविस लैंडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म पहले अगर वो कुछ लोगों को प्रोवाइड कर रहा था थ्रू दिस पार्टनरशिप बिकॉज बोथ बोथ कंपनीज आर कमिंग टुगेदर तो दोनों ही अपना पैसा लगाएंगे तो विथ लेस मनी नावी विल नाउ बी गेटिंग एक्सेस टू मोर कस्टमर्स व्हिच दे कैन रीच आउट टू प्रोवाइड और टू टू प्रोवाइड देयर फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज and also navi has around 11000 plus pin codes pan india so this is surely going to help both the companies and under this partnership what is the main feature of the loan so this will be a digital personal loan and this will be provided up to 6 years 6 years tak aapko ye loan provide kiya ja sakta hai and the amount of the personal loan can range up to rupee is 20 lakhs so 20 lakhs tak ki aap personal loan le sakte ho that too online so this is the partnership again the name becomes important here for you to keep in mind moving forward here it talks about the other features of the loan the main and the important one is this one which says ki jo bhi loan provide kiya jayega through this partnership 80% of the loan will be financed will be given by the piramal finance to so, piramal finance fund karega 80% of the loan ko and the remaining 20% will be funded by navi finser which is an nbfc and a wholly owned subsidiary of navi technologies simple aur yahan pe inhone bataya hai ki jo navi capital housing finance limited hai it is a wholly owned subsidiary of piramal enterprises limited and this is a financial services company moving forward this i have already talked about ki completely digital hoga onboarding process you will be required minimum documentation with flexible repayment methods now the eligibility criteria kaise pata kare ki credit worthiness kya hai 
individuals customers ki in this app now that will be done based on a eligibility criteria decided by both the companies dono companies apni apni batayenge that they want this 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 the other company will state their own uh, eligibility criteria both based on both mutually aligned credit parameters ko lekar fir hi wo eligibility criteria ko decide karenge moving forward to the third news now this news is important kyunki yahan pe niif hai now what does niif stands for it is national investment and infrastructure fund first of all full form aapko clear hone chahiye right so niif hai and this is india's first sovereign fund that caters to the infrastructure sector the infrastructure ke liye banaya gaya tha ye and recently the union finance minister that is nirmala sitharaman uh chaired the meeting of the governing council of niif and this meeting was held in new delhi so this is the news now let's talk about certain features of the meeting to us meeting mein bahut sari cheeze discuss hui hongi governing council ki meeting thi to jo bhi niif related stuff honge all of them would have been discussed in that meeting apart from that one endorsement was done to this mou which will be niif's first bilateral fund bilateral fund because recently an mou was signed between the japan bank of international cooperation gbic and niif uh, fund uh, niif limited to in dono ke beech mein sign hua tha and this will be known as an india japan fund so in order to make use of japanese uh, technology plus unko boost karne ke liye this fund will be created and this fund will also have contributions from the government of india so we can say that this is also going to be a kind of quasi sovereign kind of fund theek hai sovereign fund hi hoga but it will be quasi in nature and recently the mou was signed on 9th of november and during the meeting of the governing council this was given an endorsement ठीक है इसके अलावा और क्या क्या डिस्कशन हुई थी सो द गवर्निंग काउंसिल अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑल अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू ऑफ द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एन बी एफ सीज हैव परफॉर्म सो वेल दैट फ्रॉम फोर्टी टू हंड्रेड करोर रुपीज देयर लोन बुक हैज इंक्रीज ऑन इन अ कम्बाइंड मैनर टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड करोर रुपीज इन थ्री ईयर्स विदाउट हैविंग एनी काइंड ऑफ एन पी ए तो बिना एन पी ए के बिना uh non performing loans ke they have increased massive massively of the total loans that they have extended to the customer so this was a very uh important and a positive sign for niif for the fund and they also talked about the current status of the three funds that is managed by niif what are these three funds the master fund the fund of funds and the strategic opportunities fund ye kya hote hain aage ke slides mein we are going to study about it moving forward and let's talk about niif in very much concise manner kyunki i hope you all know about this niif ka first of all full form aapko pata hona chahiye ki investment pehle aata hai and then comes infrastructure if we talk about establishment then it was its creation for the first time was announced in the union budget of 2015 16 by the then finance minister arun jaitley arun jaitley ji ne iski क्रिएशन की बात करी थी इन द यूनियन बजट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन एंड आफ्टर दैट इट वॉज क्रिएटेड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर स्पेसिफिक इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड दिस इज अंड ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड बट इट्स मोटो और इट्स ऑब्जेक्टिव वुड बी टू फंड ओनली इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर रिलेटेड प्रोजेक्ट एंड दस अ रीजन वाई इट इज ऑल्सो अ क्वाई सॉवरन वेल्थ फंड वाई एम आई सेंग क्वाई सॉवरन वेल्थ फंड बिकॉज ऑफ द कंट्रीब्यूशन बाई द गवर्नमेंट तो इस फंड में जो पैसा होगा वहां पे गवर्नमेंट की गवर्नमेंट या फिर कंट्री के जो एसेट्स हैं दैट विल बी यूटिलाइज बिकॉज द गवर्नमेंट इंडियन गवर्नमेंट की कितनी स्टेक है इंडियन गवर्नमेंट हैज अ स्टेक ऑफ 49 परसेंट इन एन अगर ये 51 परसेंट होता देन वी कुड हैव सेड दैट इट इज अ फुल्ली सॉवरन वेल्थ फंड मतलब सॉवरन वेल्थ फंड बोल सकते थे बट हेयर since the majority shareholder is not the government of india the government holds only 49% of the stake in niif and the rest can be held by any domestic or foreign investors 
simple now after so this was set up in february to 2015 and in the month of december december ke mahine mein it was registered with sebi since sebi is the regulator of all kinds of funds so it was registered with sebi as category 2 alternative investment funds the category 2 ke andar isko dala gaya tha now we have studied about aif in one of our previous videos वहां पे आप देख जाकर समझ सकते हो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ए आई एफ ए आई एफ आर नथिंग बट दीज आर एनी काइंड ऑफ फंड दैट इज प्राइवेटली पूल्ड अगर प्राइवेटली अगर आप पूल करते हो एंड यू क्रिएट सर्टन काइंड ऑफ फंड दैट इज नोन एज ऑल्टरनेटिव इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम योर म्यूचुअल फंड योर निधि कंपनीज अगर हम इन सारी चीजों को निकाल दें देन दैट इज नॉन एज एन ऑल्टरनेटिव इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड एंड देन इसकी तीन कैटेगरीज हैं कैटेगरी वन कैटेगरी टू कैटेगरी थ्री तो जो कैटेगरी वन और थ्री में नहीं आता दैट गोज इन टू कैटेगरी टू एंड बेसिकली कॉन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ सच फंड विच आर मेजरली मेंट टू मीट द ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर्स और द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द कंपनी तो प्राइवेट इक्विटी हो गया so private equity venture capital comes under category 2 of alternative investment funds i hope this is clear to you now let's move forward to the next very important thing that is objective why was this fund creator nothing just to create an economic impact so to maximize and to create an economic impact mainly through infrastructure investment ab ye dekha gaya tha and we all know that india ki infrastructure that is not very good for an economy and in order to boost growth into the economy our infrastructure needs to be very robust for that this kind of fund was created so that it can mobilize the funds in order to maximize the economic impact through the infrastructure now the money or the investments will be done both in greenfield as well as brownfield commercially viable projects तो हम इकोनॉमिकली और कमर्शियली वायबल प्रोजेक्ट्स में डालेंगे दैट विल जनरेट पॉजिटिव रिटर्न फॉर द इकोनॉमी एंड दैट टू इन बोथ ग्रीनफील्ड एंड ब्राउनफील्ड अगर कोई इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ब्राउनफील्ड कॉन्स्टिट्यूट एनी काइंड ऑफ रिकंस्ट्रक्शन रेनोवेशन रिपेयर ऐसा कुछ आता है दैट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स योर ब्राउनफील्ड ग्रीनफील्ड में क्या होगा आप फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच यू आर इफ यू आर बिल्डिंग समथिंग इफ यू आर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग सर्टन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट दैन दैट विल कॉन्स्टिट्यूट योर ग्रीन फील्ड यहाँ पे आपका पहले से कुछ बना हुआ है यू आर जस्ट मेकिंग सर्टन काइंड ऑफ रेनोवेशन या कुछ टूट गया तो उसकी रिपेयर करा रहे हो या फिर रिकॉन्स्ट्रक्शन रिकंस्ट्रक्टिंग द थिंग विल कम अंडर द ब्राउन फील्ड now the main important point is the governing council so it is the highest level of the advisory body in nif or iski jo chairman hote hain that is the union finance minister or inki fifth meeting hui hai 2015 mein launch hua tha right and now this is the fifth meeting of the governing council and also the decision making body that is the governing council meets only once a year saal mein bas ek bar milti hai and it is shared by the union finance minister and they provide all kinds of guidance related to the overall strategy of nif now here comes the funds which are managed by nif so nif teen tarike ke funds ko manage karti hai the first is known as the master funds that includes uh, which is an infrastructure fund and mainly its objective is primarily investing in operating assets so jo bhi infrastructure related projects honge any infrastructure related projects in those projects any kind of operating stuff is there that will be funded by this master fund theek hai so one important one word that should be clear to you should be operating assets so they make investment in operating assets then we have funds of funds funds of funds mein kya hota hai they try to एंकर और कॉपी कॉपी बोल सकते हैं एंकर भी एंड दे फॉलो नॉट ब्लाइंडली एनी पर्सन बट दोज दोज कंपनी और दोज एसेट मैनेजर्स और फंड मैनेजर्स हु हैव एक्सपर्टीज एंड हु आर गिविंग रिटर्न सो उनको ये एंकर करते हैं एंड दे इन्वेस्ट देयर फंड विच आर मैनेज बाई फंड मैनेजर्स हु हैव गुड ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड एसोसिएटेड सेक्टर्स इन इंडिया तो वो जहाँ जहाँ इन्वेस्ट करते हैं वैसे आप एंकर करते हो यू मिरर their approach and then you try to identify the uh, probable or the prospective infrastructure projects uh, based on whatever the other person has done and this person should have a good track record 
uh, in infrastructure and related sectors in India. And finally, we have the Strategic Opportunities Fund. This is also an alternative investment fund to category two ke andar aati hai. And they basically invest in equity related projects. So equity and equity linked investments instruments mein inki investment hoti hai. And they try to provide long term capital to strategic and growth oriented sectors in India. So infrastructures mein aisa nahi ki aap bas uh, core infrastructure ho, they also provide long term capital in order to sustain or maximize a return from any strategic, any strategic related such as koi highway banani hai ya fir koi aisi road hai that is very strategic to the overall development of the country that holds so much of importance for the economy aise projects mein bhi growth oriented sectors mein bhi investment kiya jata hai and that is done through the strategic opportunities fund so these are the three funds that are managed by the niif i hope this is clear to you now let's come back to the questions so there are five questions for you in total which you need to answer in the comment section Moving forward with the first question which says which of the company has been empaneled as an NVT service provider by PFRDA? Very simple, you need to answer in the comment section. Moving forward to the next question which says which of the following correctly defines an NVT service provider? Now two things were important in ASP. The first, ki usko empanel kaun karta hai? who empanels it and secondly who uh, under which a uh, regulator it is registered this act ke andar ye registered hai so based on that you can identify the correct answer and thirdly whoever empanels it usi ke products ko ye nvt provide karenge the third thing should also be kept in mind moving forward to the third question which says recently navi group and announced a partnership with dash in order to provide digital personal loan to customers across india again the name, uh, the person or the company associated with the partnership becomes important. You need to identify the correct answer here. Moving forward, which says, who is the chairman of the governing council of National Investment and Infrastructure Fund? Recently, abhi in ki meeting bhi hui thi, we have discussed right now. You need to answer it in the comment section. And finally, we have the last question for today, which says, which of the following statements with regard to NIIF is or are incorrect. The first statement says NIIF is registered with SEBI as category 2 AIF fund. Second, Indian government has a 51% stake in NIIF with the rest held by foreign and domestic investors. And third, the governing council is the highest decision making body in NIIF which meets twice a year to provide guidance on the overall strategy of NIIF. So in statements, mein aapko incorrect, uh, hai, and then you need to mark it down here. So these are the five questions that I wanted to discuss with you. The answers are provided. The PDF will also be provided to you in the Telegram group. In case of any doubt, agar kahi samaj nahi aaya, you can ask in the comment section. Keep learning and be motivated enough to clear the examination in the first go. Till then, take care and bye-bye.